What's going on you guys? We got a little comparison video today. We're gonna to be taking a look at the Orbit Plastic from Latitude 64. I've got the Strive in both Royal Grand and Orbit, and then I've also got the Brave in Royal Grand and Orbit. Um, now I have thrown this Strive in Orbit a little bit, a little bit, but and it doesn't seem much more overstable than my other Strive. So I'm pretty excited about that. Hopefully it's not too much different. If you guys have thrown any kind of Halo Plastic from Innova or Infinite Disc, you guys know that they are way more overstable than their counterpart. I mean, I threw a, even a lightweight Halo Destroyer was an absolute meat hook for me. So we're going to be taking a look at these today. Probably going to start out with the Brave just because it's not going to be as hard to throw. First throws of the day. Here we go. Royal Brave first and then we'll go Orbit. Nice little flip up. Man, that is just such a good fairway driver. I love the Brave. It's probably one of my favorite fairway drivers. Let's see how it does in the orbit. Might be a little bit more stable because this one is brand new. Like I said, I haven't thrown it. But we're looking for it to be way more overstable than that. Okay. The Brave's numbers are a negative 2-1. And the Royal Brave honestly flies more like a negative 2-1. So this, I feel like, might actually fly like a negative 1-2. little bit of a flip up didn't throw it on the same line I threw that one a little bit more to the left but it didn't seem to be way more overstable which is very very nice to see I like that a lot I don't like when you have two discs that are exactly the same mold and they fly completely different just because of the plastic I mean I, I get it I guess but it doesn't happen with latitude why can't everybody be like that come on I'm gonna throw the Strive next. Again, this is a negative one three, the Strive is. Um, so you would think it would be really overstable, like a destroyer being a 13 speed, you'd think it'd be like kind of like a nuke. But this thing definitely gets more turn than a nuke. We'll show you guys. Whoops. <laughs> Threw that on Heiser, a little flip up, but <laughs> I mean, honestly, it flies kind of like the Brave, but a higher speed, which uh, which I'm not complaining about. Like I said, I really love the Brave. It's also been a while since I've thrown a disc, you guys. It's been really hot in Florida, you guys know. You guys know, it's been like 95,000 degrees here in Florida, so. We are out here 7.30 in the morning, and it's still just ridiculously hot. It's 90 degrees out here, so. Here we go, let's drive in the orbit. Oh man, I threw it low. Wow, okay. Threw that low, it's kind of hard to tell, but it did seem a little more overstable. It didn't like to flip up as much. I'm gonna try that out. All right guys, no, I didn't throw the Strive the best. We're gonna be uh, throwing them again, hopefully trying to get them a little bit more flat so you guys can see the turn on these discs. I wanted to say thank you guys to everybody who has watched the channel this last year and everybody who has subscribed and commented nice things and all these all these great things. I really appreciate you guys a lot. I have become a YouTube partner. Um, I have reached the first goal. So I'm not gonna ask you guys every video if you guys could join down below. But since I, get, since I just unlocked this perk, there is an option to join down below, not just subscribe. Um, so if that was something you were interested in, I really appreciate it. Not gonna ask you guys every video, so don't worry about that. Just wanted to let you guys know that the option is available. Love you guys. Here's the problem with coming here early in the morning, why Florida is just so bad. It's still 90 degrees out here. My shoes are soaking wet because there's so much dew. Look at the discs. Can you tell how wet these discs are? They're actually soaking wet and dirty, and I didn't bring a towel out here. Amazing. And if I were to come out here an hour later, all the dew would be dried up, but it would be literally 150 degrees out here so you pick your poison i guess so i know i haven't been out here making videos as often as i used to um do want to apologize for that but i just walked from that end of the field to here and not only are my shoes soaking wet my socks are soaking wet just from the dew from walking over here but i have i have no choice i have to come out here this early in the morning or it's i will literally get baked not only will I get baked, my phone won't even record a video. So let's try these again, 
See if we can't throw them a bit flatter, a bit better. Brave first. Okay, through that low. Like I said, guys, I haven't really been playing disc golf, so don't expect my best right here. And these discs are literally still soaking wet. So let's just try this orbit one. You guys have seen that brave fly. Go watch my other video. I'll link it up there. All right. Yeah, let's try this orbit brave. I can't throw flat. <laughs> it didn't flip up though. Didn't seem to want to uh, flip up at all. Gosh, I'm so bad, dude. I'm so bad at disc golf now. Here we go. Let's try this drive. Let's see if we can throw a disc today. A little better. Still low. <laughs> Went all of about 275 feet, maybe. All right, orbit's drive. <laughs> the strive doesn't seem to be that much different in the orbit plastic brave however might still be a little different could also be just because i've used that royal brave a lot and it's probably a little beat in we're gonna try to step it up here and throw these discs properly for you guys it's been a while since i've thrown a disc and uh and my feet are wet so i'm gonna try to throw these things decent now try to get them a little more flat for you guys Okay, that's a little more like what the Brave usually flies like for me, a bit more understable. So we're starting to get the snap back, all right? Starting to get the snap on the discs. Let's just throw it higher. We got this, come on. I got this, I remember how to throw a disc, I think. Oh, okay. Didn't want to turn at all kind of threw a little nose up not gonna lie but didn't want to turn like the other brave had a little bit of a fade at the end still went straight for a good while though huh. all right strive time baby flip up on the strive went pretty decent that thing just goes man strive is super nice let's see if we can get that baby flip up with this or if it just wants to be overstable okay that was actually flatter man <laughs> they just go i don't know what it is about the strive between like compared to any other distance driver i've thrown i always expect it to be like okay it's gonna start fading now it's gonna start fading now it just keeps on going <laughs> I don't know what it is about that. That's awesome. I'm throwing, going to try to throw an Anheuser here. And uh, we'll see what happens. I'll try my best. Got a little turn on that. That was probably just flat, honestly. Orbit, brave. Oh yeah, holding that turn pretty good. And coming out. That's what I like to see right there. Hey, at least I'm throwing Anheuser's okay right now. Um, that's a that's a plus. Usually I don't throw them very well. We'll see how we do with the driver though. Throwing a distance driver, it's it's a lot more angle dependent. So if you mess up that angle at all, it's definitely going to show it a bit more. That Orbit Brave seemed to hold the turn just as long, if not longer, than the other Braves. So. That was not Anheuser. That was just a Heiser flip straight into the bush. Hey, at least I'm throwing Anheuser's okay right now. As you guys can see, way more angle dependent. I mean, I messed that up barely. I feel like I barely messed that up. And uh, it looks terrible. <laughs> Here we go. Orbit. I just want to throw this Orbit Strive good like one time. Okay, a little bit of Anheuser there. Comes out pretty good. Like I said, they fly, the Strive and the Brave fly pretty similarly. Um, one's just a 13 speed, you know, is what it is. All right, guys, I'm absolutely melting out here. We're going to wrap it up there. What did I say? We're going to wrap it up there. 
Hope you guys got to see a little bit of comparison there. I know it wasn't the best, um, but all in all, my my personal opinion, I think that this Orbit plastic doesn't affect the stability too, too much. Um, so I would just get whatever. I can't even film an outro because my phone stopped recording. So let's try it again. All in all, I don't think there's a huge difference between the Orbit and the Royal Grand plastic. Stability wise, um, there might be durability wise. So the Orbit might last a little longer. It's certainly gonna be more expensive. So take that with a grain of salt. But yeah, it's gonna wrap it up for you guys. Hope y'all enjoyed. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that join button down below if you guys are interested in that. I really appreciate you guys. We're getting really close to 1,000 subscribers, and we we're going to be doing a big giveaway at 1,000 subscribers. We're going to be giving away a Calvin Heimberg signed disc. So make sure you guys are subscribed to get in on that. Also, if you guys are interested, I'm starting another channel, um, Eric G's Fishing Channel. I'll link it down below. I've only posted like one video yet in a short, but we're going to be posting a little bit on there. Um, Fishing is something I can go out and do a little bit earlier mornings, and it's not so hot. So, yeah, make sure you guys go check that out. We're going to be trying to uh, post some on that channel as well. But, yeah, guys, appreciate you guys sticking around and watching the whole video. Love you guys. Peace.